In this video we're going to be talking about the pencil tool. The pencil tool will give us a bit more of a refined look and could be used more for cleanup animation. So that said we can click our pencil and go over to our tool properties and here we will see our presets that come with Harmony as well as some other options. So we can control right now off the top of our head we can control the maximum size with this slider as we draw and we can control the smoothing which is referring to the center line of our pencil so speaking of which why don't we draw a little bit let's pick something a little thicker so that we can see it here is our pencil line and I just mentioned that center line and if I use my contour editor you can see that in the middle of our pencil we have a central vector line which is controlling the contours of our pencil and we can manipulate it as such as opposed to say our brush if I was to select the contour editor you will see that the contours of the brush are defined almost like an envelope if you will so that's it we can delete them and let's put in some new stuff uh, so the other thing we can look at is this little arrow over here to pull up our pencil properties and from here we can go in our first tab and just like out here we can control the maximum size we can also control the minimum size which of course means that our pencil lines are pressure sensitive so the heavier I push on my stylus the thicker it is the lighter I go the thinner it is that's how thin I can get that now really bear down and then the other thing I'd like to talk about is going back to our central vector line using our contour if we were to edit any of these points the thick and thin is retained which is very good for editing and fixing any mistakes we may we may make smoothing option again very sim is exactly this same slider it's controlling the central vector line and how smooth it will make it the contour smoothing refers to the exterior of the pencil, how smooth it makes it as we draw. No smoothing. Let's delete those. Coming down to shape, this is referring to the both the start and end of our pencil. If we want it to be round, if we click it, we can hold it down. We can also make it flat if we wish. make them both flat so you can see the ends are kind of flat let's delete those and join refers to when two pencil lines over intersect each other uh, the joining will either be round have a rounded join or have a miter join or a beveled join moving over into our texture tab pencil lines also support texture albeit in a very more limited fashion than say our bitmap brushes or our vector brushes that said, we still can get a nice effect. Sometimes they work a little better when they're thinner because it is scaling the bitmap up as it stamps it along the central vector line. And again, I call back to the central vector line. And if I manipulate it, the texture also moves along for the ride. Very handy. That said, we can even import our own texture by pushing this little plus button right here, navigating to our through our OS to find it. Here's one I made custom to get a unique look. And unlike the brush, the paint bucket will fill to the center of the vector line. So that is a bonus when working with pencils. So we don't have to create color art from line art. Oops. Let's delete some of that stuff. Let's go back to our pencils. So now let's say we've played with this pencil and very similar to our brush palette, you'll notice there's a little asterisk that will appear up here. And that's letting us know that we have changed one of our presets that came with Harmony. So we can do one of two things. We can either click this little plus where it says new brush preset, which I will do right now. I'll call this Chunky Pencil. Let's 
pencil, hit OK. And now Chunky Pencil has been added to my presets so over here. If I still go about changing chunky pencil, if I'm like, mm, I need it to be, I need it to be a little thicker. I don't, I don't want it to have too much thick and thin. It needs to be a bit more of a consistent line, and I need a little more contour smoothing. And now I'm going to draw with it and say, oh, yep, that looks pretty good. I, I like that. Um, I'm going to stick with this. Let's cut it. Yeah, it looks good. I like it. I like how it behaves. Um, so we have to do one of two things. Either either I can create yet another brush preset, or if I'm really happy with this one, I want to keep it, I click on the pencil with the green arrows next to it that say update the brush preset. Clicking that will update my chunky pencil with the new parameters. Let's delete this stuff. So that said, let's go talk about how we can import and export our pencil presets. So we have our chunky pencil, and let's say we need to share it with someone else on the team, or someone else who may not be in the same room with us. We can export our presets, let's close this for now, by going over to the brush menu of our pencils. We can click that guy and go down to export brushes. And now we have this export brush dialog box we can just deselect all and just pick pencils to help just select the pencils and if I really want to be specific I, if I really just want to share my chunky pencil I just made I can deselect oops I can deselect all of the other pencils and just make sure that chunky pencil is the only one chosen I'll hit export. Let's find a place on our machine to export it. We'll call this chunky pencil. Chunky pencil preset. And I can hit save like so. And now I've just saved it. So we can also remove our presets. Let's go back over to our pencil preset options over here. If I click on my chunky pencil, I can go over here next to our brush menu. If we hover over, it says delete brush. If we click that guy, he's gone. It's been removed from Harmony. Well, it's a good thing we just saved that preset, isn't it? So let's talk about how we can import it. We go to our import brushes, find our chunky pencil preset. It's going to pull up the import brushes box. It's going to say, hey, there's chunky, chunky pencil. I'll hit import. One brush was added. I'll say okay, thank you very much. And there's our chunky pencil. He's back in our he's back in our, our presets, ready for us to use.